Grand rise to all my spiritual warriors out there, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing out there today? I hope everybody having a good, wonderful, lovely Thursday today. So let me introduce myself. My name is Brian, the spiritual warrior. Make sure y'all like this. Make sure y'all like this video. Comment, subscribe, and make sure you turn this. I mean, make sure you turn your notifications on. So every time I upload a video, y'all be the first one to notice. And make sure you stay tuned in this video, ladies and gentlemen. Spiritual warriors out there, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Do not touch that dial. So with that being said, folks, let's get on with the topic, shall we? God will bless you right in front of your enemies. He will make them your footstool. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. Listen. Your enemies have wished and prayed on your downfall, even wished bad on you. That struggle that you were going through, listen to me now. That struggle that you was in, that you were facing, they laughed at your pain. They laughed at your tears. They thought you were never going to pull yourself out of that situation. But guess what? All of that is about to change as we speak. As you're watching me, as you're watching this video, y'all listen to me. You may be down in that struggle. You may be down in that hole right now, but let me tell you something. All of that is going to come to a very, very end. And all of your enemies that led that you and talked about you, they're going to have to shut their mouths and eat every foul word they have said about you. Listen to me now. Listen. All of your enemies is going to have to watch you eat. Because God is going to prepare a table in the midst of your enemies. And he's going to make them your footstool, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all about to understand where I'm coming from now. Because this is some serious stuff. We in the spiritual warfare right now. Every day we got to wake up and fight another demon. Whatever situation that we're going through, we're going to have to fight demons. Or in other words, new levels, new devils. Many are called, but a few are chosen. But God called us. Whatever situation that we're going through right now. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but somebody out there that's watching this is going through a tough time right now. And God had called you to do this. But nobody in your hometown don't even believe in you. Your own folks don't believe in you. So guess what? You believe in yourself. But here's the hard thing. God is going to test you before he bless you. He's going to see, do you really want this? Because it's it going to be a lot of people that are going to be turning on you. Because you're going this way and they're going that way. You're going right and they're going left. This is going to be a test that you're going to have to pass, spiritual warriors. Remember, everything that you pray for is not going to come easy. But guess what? If you keep remaining the faith and keep putting in the fight, I mean, excuse me, you keep on fighting, and you keep having faith, and you're going out there and you're putting in the work constantly and constantly and constantly and nonstop, let me tell you something. All your hard times is going to come to an end. But at the same time, your enemies, they're going to try so hard to try to make you give up. It's going to get frustrated along the way. Trust me. These days that we live in is so, so, so very hard right now. Y'all see what's going on out here today? And you got some people out here that's giving up, taking themselves out. Yeah, it's getting really hard out here, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta have a strong mind. You got excuse me. You gotta have a strong mindset for this if you really want this. You cannot let be. You cannot be letting people get inside your head and making you think that you is not gonna make it. Cause that is a lie. You gonna make it. Just remember all the tough times and all the tough days and bad days that you had to overcome. Now look at you. You standing still. You got your head up. But you never thought you'd make it through them bad them bad days though, right? But guess what? You had made it, though. We all had experienced the bad days, spiritual warriors, ladies and gentlemen, out there. 
We all had experienced this. Name me one person that had never, ever, ever, never had a bad day. I wait. Exactly. We all had bad days before. Everybody went through a struggle. But guess what? They did not stay there because they did something about it. And God had put them to a test. So guess what? That situation that you're going through is a test right now. That struggle that you're going through right now is a test. It's not going to last a lifetime. This is just temporary, folks. And I just want to curse you. I just want to curse everybody out there today. Whoever laughing at your pain, whoever out there is trying to discourage you, whoever turned their back on you, don't even worry about that because let me tell you something. These people had turned their back on you in public, but guess what? God is going to reward you big time right in front of these people. In their very face. In public. In public, man. In public, shawty. Like, seriously. These people thought that they were going to have the last laugh. But you finna have the last laugh. They could be laughing at you today. <clears throat> Excuse me. They can be laughing at you today. And you be laughing tomorrow. You could be down today. And you be up tomorrow. See, people don't fail to realize this. When you laugh at somebody else's pain, then somebody else going to be laughing at their pain. They, your enemies don't understand that, but guess what? They're going to find out the hard way when they point their finger, put their mouth on you. Because like I told y'all before, God sits high and he listens and he look low. So don't even worry about that. Don't worry about your situation right now. Don't even worry about your enemies or nobody turning their back on you. You see, when you live by Christ, people is going to misunderstand you. They're going to slander you, try to make you feel bad, try to point out your flaws. But let me tell y'all something. When you are walking with Christ, it's not going to be easy. But let me tell you something. It's going to be worth it. These people that's doing all this talking and all this nonsense, they are walking with the devil. You see, when they walk with the devil, the devil don't bother them. But when you walk with Christ, it's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of struggles, battle after battle after battle. I know y'all going through this. Cause everybody that's walking with Christ and all good people, they suffer the most. They go through the bad things. And sometimes I wonder why good people go through bad things. Or why bad things happen to good people. But let me tell you something. This is only a test, dog, on it. This is only a freaking test. And you will pass this assignment. We all got an assignment to complete here, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you like it or not, you have been called by the Most High. And you should be happy about it. Don't let nobody make you feel bad out here for being called by God. God chose you for a reason. He chose you since you were born. As a matter of fact, he chose you when you was inside your mama's stomach before you became into this world. As a matter of fact, before you even formed your mama's stomach, he had chose you. So do not let nobody out here try to make you feel bad for walking in Christ or following the path of Christ. Because let me tell you something. These same people that laughed at you, God is finna reward you right in front of these people's faces. And they're going to be sitting back looking crazy. Some gonna be mad, frustrated, probably even crying. But guess what? That ain't gonna be your problem though. It gonna be on them. Cause they had picked at the wrong one, laugh at the wrong one, folks. See what your enemies fail to realize is you may be last, but you finna be first. They may be first, but guess what? They finna be last. So let them do whatever they want to do. Let them have that five minutes of fame. Five seconds of fame, that is. Let them think everything all fun and games. They may think they be running the show right now, but let me tell you something. If it be a new person that's finna host the game, which is you, you finna call the shots. You finna change everything. You finna become the big dog. You was once the underdog, ladies and gentlemen, but guess what? You finna be the top dog. You were right here, but guess what? 
God's finna put you even higher. You finna be on a high, higher uh, frequency right now. Right in front of these folks' faces. And they're gonna be looking like, how the heck or how the hell did he or she make it through all this struggle? Made it through all them tough times. Let me tell you something. It was not easy, but guess what? It was worth it. Because you got to keep your faith. You got to keep the fight. You got to keep on fighting. This is not easy. And this is why your enemies is so very pissed off and jealous of you and envious of you. Because these people knew that you got the strength to do this. And this is why they are so jealous of you. It's that spirit inside of you. You got that strength. You got that. It's just some inside of you that they wish they had. You got some. You got some toughness inside of you. That strength inside of you. But your enemies don't have that. Cause you know why? They had. They did not answer God's call. They choose to be walking with the devil. They want to go out here and party and do all this other BS. But you see, you at home studying. You stand far away from them. You got things that you need to do. You got things you need to accomplish. Goals. You got generational curses that you need to break in your family. And I hate to say this, but nine times out of ten, your own enemies can be your own folks. Listen to what I'm saying. Your own enemies can be your own family members sometimes. I just put the nail in the coffin right there in there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Your own kinfolk, your own blood. Listen, your own blood, your own family can be your biggest, biggest haters. Even your friends can be your biggest enemies too. You know what they say, it's always the closest ones to you. They get mad because you choose to live a better life. They mad because you choose to change your lifestyle. They mad because God had chose you and not them. But let's be real here. God had called everybody to do something. But did they answer that call? Did they pick up their phone? No, they didn't. So guess what? When he called you, that's when you knew you got to cut off some... That's when you knew you had to cut off a lot of people that wasn't doing what you were doing. Because these people that you used to roll with is still doing the same old thing since high school. They still stuck in the past. You finna walk towards your future. But these people don't understand that. But guess what? They ain't got to understand that. God understand it. Because it's your vision. This is between you and God. This ain't nobody else's business but you and God. And this is why he picked you for a reason. Because when he bless you, you're going to remain humble. You're not going to be out here showing out your blessings, trying to be big head and trying to make other folks jealous. That's not you. You will never do that. And this is why God picked you because he knew he can trust you. Because he knew he would never, he knew that you would never go out there and be telling your blessings to other folks. Because when he bless you, listen to me, folks. When he bless you, you're going to keep them blessings to yourself. And you will remain humble. Remain low key. But at the same time, he's going to bless you right in front of these folks' faces. They got the nerve to try to criticize you because you wanted to walk with Christ. Do not be ashamed to walk with Christ because that's what we need in these days. Christ, God, look what's going on in the world. Now you tell me. Tell me, folks. We're not living in the in the times right now. I'm not trying to scare y'all or frighten y'all, but just listen. Look what's going on in the world these days. The devil is out here ruining this world. But guess what? He he would never defeat God, though I tell you that. He will never, ever, ever defeat the Lord. It's still hope out here, so spiritual words, listen to me. You may be going through that battle right now. <clears throat> you may got some enemies that's praying on your downfall, wishing bad on you. But let me tell you something. These same people that wish bad on you, 
whatever shame and tactics they try to throw at you is going to come right back to them. Everything they send out to you, all them stones they throwing at you, is going to come right back to them. Please, whatever you do, do not throw in the towel. Do not give up. Do not take yourself out. Because there's a lot of people that could not take it and they end up unaliving themselves. Don't you do that. That is not the answer. God did not put you here to take your own self out. He put you here on this earth for a reason. To break generational curses, to become successful, to have a family, all that down the line. But let me tell you something. You may be single right now. You may be going through this right now. But guess what? This is only temporary, folks. So keep that in mind. Pain did not pain do not last forever. Do you think when it rains, you think it's gonna rain forever? No. Because eventually the sun is gonna come out and it's gonna stop raining, folks. It may be raining in your season right now, but guess what? That rain finna clear out and it finna stop and that sun finna be shining bright on you. So I'm gonna need for everybody that's watching this video to type that in the comments below right now and say, it may be raining right now, but guess what? I finna, I finna walk into my winter season. The sun is finna shine bright on me again. Trials and tribulations is not gonna stop me. Because victory shall be mine. And it will be yours. And God is finna make your enemies your first dude. You can be sitting at your table eating good. And here they come trying to grab a seat at your table. And you're going to stop it like, uh-uh. Wait a minute. Hold up. When I was struggling, you did not help me prepare this table. This was between me and God and the true supporters that supported me. We built this table. Not you. Y'all got to be like them girls off Mean Girls. You can't sit with us. Mm -mm, you cannot sit with us. You didn't build this table. You didn't, you didn't struggle with us. It always be the ones that want to that, that hand out. But they did not help you when you were struggling. They could they could have helped you. Let's be honest here. They could have helped you. But guess what? They choose not to. They choose to laugh at your pain and your struggle. But here they come. Want to get a seat at your table. Want to get a get a piece of that good good looking food. Your buffet. I mean, excuse me. Your table is gonna be looking like a Thanksgiving buffet, and your enemies gonna be sitting right back watching you eat. Look, where they hand out like the gross sisters from the Powell family, asking for something, and you gonna be like, "Uh, no." Then they gonna be mad. But guess what? Let them stay mad. They ain't going to do nothing. Let them be mad. <clears throat> These same people, they're going to be asking for their handout like they're the gross sisters or something. These people laughed at your pain and your struggle. And they try to fill up your, your mind with lies, negativity, try to make you doubt yourself. But got the nerve to bring that stinky behind to your table. Try to sit at the table that you and God and your true supporters had built. But guess what? It, it don't work like that. It be the main ones that you had grew up with end up turning their back on you. It be the main ones that you grew up with stabbing you in your back. You were never ever thought, but guess what? God had to show it to you because you would have brought these people along the way. If you would have brought these people on your boat, they would have poked holes in your ship and your whole shit would have had drowned it. And it would have been game over for you, pal. It would have been game for over you, Miss Lady. But guess what? Before you had came up, God had to reveal to you who these people was really were. So you got to thank God for that. Thank you, Lord, for showing me who my enemies were. You got to thank him for that. You got to give him your knees and thank God and say, thank you for showing me who my enemies were. And it going to hurt, trust me, it's going to hurt. Because it could be your family and your friends. But at the same time, you cannot let that stop you from walking to the path of, of your future, of your success, of your victory, your glory. Do not let that stop you. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me. <coughs> Trust me, you're going to feel the pain. <coughs> it's going to hurt when other folks start turning their back on you. And you feel like you're all alone, but guess what? God will never leave you or he will never forsake you, folks. You got to remember, God is with you at all freaking times. God is with you. He will never leave you. People, people, they may leave you, but let me tell you something. God will always be there, no matter what. But fake folks, they leave, but the real ones will stay with no matter. The real people will stay with no matter what. Fake people leave, but real people stay. So whoever left your life, that's your answer. They was never really your friends from the beginning with. They were fake and phony, like a piece of baloney. Phony baloney. If you want to really test your um, friend's loyalty, act broke or fall off. Or start doing your start doing things your way and start walking with Christ. And you will see who real and who phony. Just start living your life and start making your own decisions. And stop going to these doggone parties with them. Stop giving them money and just say no. And I guarantee you, watch. The loyalty will be tested. If they like it and they respect that, good. But if they don't respect your boundaries or your choices that you had made in your life, that's your answer once again. Because when God bless you, he's going to bless you only. But at the same time, if you got real people that's in your circle that want to see you in, he is going to bless you and them as well. But if you don't, guess what? He is going to bless you right from the people that try to put you down. Then they're going to be sitting up, they're going to be sitting up there watching you. Because these people had dug a trap for you. But guess what? They end up falling in that trap. They dog on sales. Your enemies try to dig up a hole for you. But they end up falling in that hole that was meant for you. <laughs> Ain't it funny? When they try to make you fall into a hole that they dig out. But they end up falling in it. This is why you're so blessed. Because guess what? You could have had exposed these people. But you never did. Because you won't go mess up your blessings that God had for you. So guess what? You let them expose themselves. Now, when God bless you in front of these folks, they could be sitting back watching you, being nosy. Try to come in face to face with you. Hey, how you doing? But they don't like you, though. But trying to act all friendly, trying to act all sweet and innocent, like get out of here. You can see right through them. Folks, you see right through these people. Your enemies is going to try to ask, they're going to try to act so doggone friendly with you because they know that they were wrong. They know they had did some effed up stuff, but let me tell you something. You can forgive your enemies. Do not hate them because you don't have a hate bone in your body or a jealous bone in your body. You want to see everybody win. But your own folks, your so-called friends, they want to see you win. But guess what? You gonna be around to some. You gonna be around some strangers. That's gonna want to see you win, and they will push you until you get to the top. You and these strangers is gonna be sitting at a table that your enemies wish that they can sit at, but they can't sit with us. They can't sit with y'all, man. So they gotta sit right there and watch you eat, and they gonna be nosy. Trying to get some information up out of you. They're going to be creeping at your window. Peeping at the window. Who's that creeping at my window? Pow. They're going to be creeping at your window. Trying to see what you're doing. But guess what? They will never be able to creep at your window. Because you're going to have blinds at your window. I understand where I'm coming from. They're going to try to be nosy. Get some information. Get some questions up out of you. But you ain't going to tell nobody your blessings. You're going to remain humble. Remain shh, quiet. Remain humble and remain low-key, ladies and gentlemen. When you get blessed.
Because God will bless you right in front of these people that have tried to put you down. But you may be struggling right now, but let me tell you something. That struggle is going to come to a very, very, very end. Understand where I'm coming from, man. That struggle that you're going through right now, listen to me. That struggle is going to come to a stop. You're going to reach your victory. Your glory is going to come. Believe in yourself and have faith. And do not let the devil and his enemies, I mean, excuse me, do not let the devil and his little minions make you throw in the towel. The only reason why they're doing that because they see there's some inside of you that is terrifying them. They see that you finna come out of that situation, finna become a winner. But let me tell you something. All of that <laughs> is finna come to a very end. And they're gonna regret for how they treated you. You know what they said? Shout out to Mike Jones for this. Back then they ain't want you, but now you're hot, they all on you. Wait till God start blessing you and start making you shine bright like a diamond, like the heaven gates. Go like heaven gates. Now they wanna come into your life, wanna act all friendly. Ah, and you're gonna stop it right there, dead in their tracks. <laughs> it kills me. When people try to come back into your life after you have pulled yourself out of that situation, after God had helped you, now that all of a sudden they want to come into your life and try to be all friendly. People need to stop that bull crap. They need to stop that mess. But at the same time, you ain't going to let these folks in because once again, and I'm going to say it again, they can't sit with us. This table right here is for the chosen ones only. This table right here it's for the spiritual warriors only. We had to walk alone when we were heartbroken. We had to walk alone when we were struggling. But guess what? The real people, aka the strangers, that we barely don't even know, picked us up and encouraged us to say, I believe in you. I see something in you. You got greatness inside of you. Keep doing what you're doing. Do not give up. I am counting on you. I am rooting for you. It takes a stranger. To pull you up and say, I got you. And that same stranger that helped you could be sitting at your table while your enemies be watching y'all eat. You don't know, you don't get no real than that, ladies and gentlemen. But before I go, let me encourage you and warn you. There's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna turn their back on you when you start doing the right thing. But guess what? You don't you don't even have to care. As a matter of fact, you don't give a damn, and you don't have to. But let me tell you something. These same people that turned on you, that turned their back on you, watch, they're going to try, they try to come back into your life. They're going to try to turn their back and try to run forward to, towards your life and try to say, sorry this, sorry that, but forgive them. Because they do not know what they be doing. It's the devil. But at the same time, you got to cut them off and lead them in the past. Lead them in the past, ladies and gentlemen. These people do not belong in your life. If they turn on you and if they walk out that door, let me tell you something. When they walk out that door, do not answer that door when they try to come back. If they ring that doorbell or knock at that door, try to come back into your life, do not let these people back in. Because these people laughed at you when you were struggling. And God saw that. And he didn't like it. So guess what? He has blessed you. And he's still blessing you. Because you awake right now. You breathing. So that's a blessing. Breathing and waking up in the morning is considered a blessing, folks. Do not forget that. I don't care what you're going through right now. You breathing. That is a blessing. That's considered a blessing. But guess what? You finna be, you finna get even more blessed. Your cut is finna overflow with blessings right now. So don't worry about these people that's laughing at your struggle, that's laughing at your pain. Don't worry about these folks. Because God is finna bless them right in front of your face. I mean, excuse me. God is finna bless them right in front of their faces. God is finna prepare a table in the midst of your enemies. And he will make them your footstool. 
you finna get blessed all in front of an enemy's face. In front of all of your enemy's faces, that is. And they're gonna be sitting back, looking crazy, probably crying, crying their ass out, nose all snotty. <laughs> but let me tell y'all something. Forgive these people. Forgive them. Forgive your enemies. Forgive all of them. Every single last one of them. Because one thing you do not want to do is get blessed and try to seek revenge. Because if you do that, spiritual warriors, God will snatch them blessings away from you. So pray for your enemies and love them. And remain humble and remember people that turned on you and laughed at you. God is going to reward you big time right in front of their faces. Watch what I tell you. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man.